Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and today I'm working in my everyday carry in my bullet journal insert and just to recap last week I decided that I was going to use purple as my sort of colour for September. I did yellow in August. For my sketch last week I chose to do some lavender because I'd been doing a little line and wash sketch of lavender in my bullet journal. Here it's on watercolour paper and I'm not fantastic at drawing flowers but I had lots of fun having a go at this little lavender sketch with watercolour. And then in my bullet journal itself I can find when I go purple so I did my cover page last week, started filling up my wish list <laughs> and I have made a purchase which I shall show you in a second. I put in my goals, I still need to focus on weight loss, I just got I went completely off track with it, stopped tracking it, stopped thinking about it and it's been a bit of a disaster so I need to get back on with that and I want to complete my self care challenge so I'll probably have a video on that this week and once that's finished I want to set up a journal for doing sort of deeper self care work which I will do off camera because that, 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 that's quite personal. I've started putting some ideas down. I've been thinking about what I want to do with my journaling or my bullet journaling next year. And I'm thinking about putting a monthly calendar in my wallet and perhaps changing my vertical insert that I have in here. Maybe just changing that for a folder because I seem to be doing everything in this bullet journal now, but we'll see. So my September. I came up with a recipe for this week and it's going to be coconut and squash dansak. So it sounds like it's butternut squash with onions and tomatoes and lentils and spinach and coconut milk and coconut yogurt which sounds interesting so I'm going to have a go at that recipe. For my focus of the week, last week, I picked this card. I've changed to my Lightseer's tarot deck because one of my subscribers has purchased this deck, so I thought it'd be nice to work with it this month. And I got the Queen of Wands. And one of the things that's really nice about this deck is the little guidebook. It always has like a positive affirmation for each card, as well as some ideas for things to focus on. And the affirmation was, I fill my world with an intense light that connects and invites passions. <laughs> Do I do that? I've no idea. <laughs> but um, oh, I'll leave it there for a minute. So it also said things like this. It is time to boldly step into the limelight of your life. Don't be afraid to be the centre of attention. Stop acting small in order to make those around you feel more comfortable. Make sure productivity is accompanied by laughter. <laughs> I think I do accompany quite a lot of the things that I do with laughter and gratitude and appreciation and love. So this card actually did make me think about my YouTube channel because starting this channel has been a bold move for me. Um, with so many people watching, it does seem to me like I feel like I'm the centre of attention. Although, of course, you're separated from your audience on YouTube by the fact that they're not physically with you because it's online. Um, it's something I've never before had the courage to be, i.e. the centre of attention. So this YouTube channel is a perfect first step for me. I'm sharing my hobbies, but I'm also sharing myself. It feels like a bold attempt to express myself. I'm exploring my beliefs, my feelings, my character traits and parts of the narrative that makes up my life and so this has been really great for my self-confidence and self-esteem mainly because of you my lovely viewers and subscribers because you leave me such lovely comments and so it's been really good for my confidence and self-esteem to be sharing so much on my channel and I hope very much that in doing so I'm helping other people too and some of the comments suggest that perhaps I am which makes me feel really happy so this channel is helping me and it's also helping some of you so i think that's lovely so i was really happy with this card plus it's purple look and i've got a purple thing going on so that was my focus of the week for last week just moving my card so here i am for this week and the first thing that i want to do is 
divide up my pages for my week and I think I'm going to go for a two week a two page spread this week because I've got something I, extra I want to add in so I'm going to go for a two page spread I'm just eyeballing it <laughs> in other words I'm just hoping that this is sort of like more or less equally divided like so and what I thought I would do is use some paint in my bullet journal this week. So I have some of this matte chalk paint in purple. So what I'm going to do is paint a little bit of it on my header. So I just squeeze, I don't think I'll need very much. So I squeeze a bit out onto my glass mat. Oh, just put my watercolour brush in it. I didn't want to use that brush. <laughs> That's because I'm used to using it. Right, let's try again. So I've got some matte chalk paint and let's see how it looks when it's on this paper. Ooh. It's very opaque, unlike watercolour paint, which is translucent, so you can sort of see through it. This is much more opaque. And if I'm gonna have a nerf. And of course I've got some on the other page because I'm so clumsy. We need a little bit more, just a little bit. I'm always mean with my art supplies because art supplies are expensive, aren't they? So you don't want to like waste too much. <laughs> Although most of these have been given to me. Okay, so I've got my chalk paint there and I need to wait for that to dry. And whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to stamp in my day, days. So I've got a stamp that I thought I'd use this week. I forgot I had this. So it's like a planner stamp. So it's got the days of the week and various other bits and pieces on it. So I thought this week I would stamp. So I'm using Versamagic Chalk Ink in Pretty Petunia, which I think goes really well with that just as it happens, because I don't think they're the same make. So I've got Monday. Okay, so it was a little bit fiddly and time consuming to stamp in the days, but I do like the way that it looks. And I'm gonna add some extra decoration with another stamp. And this one is a little fairy. <laughs> I just thought I would, <laughs> I like fairies. I don't know why. It's the child, it's the inner child in me that likes fairies. So I'm gonna stamp a little fairy up here. See how that comes out on top of the chalk ink. Oh, I quite like how that looks. Okay, I might stamp another fairy. Let's have a look, what else have I got? Just got interrupted by dogs. So carrying on, I'm gonna put one more stamp on here. Oops, got it all in my fingernails then. What's new? So that another little fairy and I, as always, have put it too far along on the block. So now I'm super inky. <laughs> and I'm gonna have her just flying up towards the other one. There we go. Okay, so I've got my little chalk fairies on my chalk paint. And I have some black flowers here that I think will look nice with these fairies. So I'm going to put one down here. And take one more, one of these nice like little arrangements along the bottom. There. And I like how that looks. So now I just need to plan out my week. And last week was such a busy week, oops, 
Last week was such a busy week. I'm hoping this week will not be quite so busy. So today I'm dog sitting again. My daughter's having work done on her house, which upsets the dogs. Tomorrow I'm going shopping with both of my daughters, which is really exciting. Rarely happens. And then Tuesday night, my youngest daughter is sleeping over. So we'll be able to have a lovely girly evening together. Then we have our usual things. We've got piano, we've got karate to remember and dance and dance. And I'm hoping at the weekend that I may see my sister at some point. Um, but we haven't got anything planned yet. Oh, I nearly forgot. This is why I like to use my stickers. <laughs> I've got a coffee appointment with a friend on Wednesday. So I need to pop that in. And I've got this little sampler of stickers here. And there's a shopping one there. So I thought I would put that here. <laughs> I don't know why I find stickers so much fun. And I'm going to do some journaling on... Friday and Thursday I think because I really need to do lots of catching up in my memory keeping journal and Saturday I'm planning a date night with my partner we're going to have a meal together and then watch Vigil I think it's called I don't know whether or not I'm going to like it but we're going to give it a go so I'm going to put that in for Saturday <laughs> so that's that one I'm laughing at myself because of my stickers and Oh, my daughter's sleeping over, so we'll be having a glass of wine or two, I imagine. So I'm going to put a little sticker party type sticker in there. And oh, Friday I need to do cleaning. Nobody wants to do cleaning, do they? So I need to put a sticker to remind me to do some cleaning, because I'm a little behind with my cleaning. I have my karate stickers that my sister gave me. I love them. <laughs> So I can put that in there and a little bit of my piano washi I'm gonna say piano washi my music washi to remind me about the piano lesson and is there anything else turning over to the next page and on this page I'm going to do my to-do lists and my to buy lists so I just want to add some washi as a little sort of simple decoration for this page together with which one should we go for I'm going to go for this one and I like a pinky purple and I would like some decorative stickers Oh God, these really pretty these pretty delicate ones these are really nice it's cool And I've got these ones which are sticky club ones and they're like little glass globes with things inside pop that one here and then I want to draw some boxes And I want a to-do box up here. My cult pens had a sale 
and I wanted some brush pens, they were on my wish list and as they had a 20% off sale, which is really quite a lot off, I bought this set of Pentel brush pens so that I can use them to practice my brush lettering. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twenty-four 12, 24 different colours in here, which I thought was really cool. And yeah, I'm really excited because I'll be able to have a colour for whatever, to match whatever page I'm doing in my journal. Now, oops. I'm not sure which colour is going to look nice with the page I'm doing now. So let's have a look. I'll go on the back of this sticker sheet and see which colour we think looks the nicest. That's quite blue. That's much more of a bluey violet colour. Ooh, what do we think? I think the pink looks nice with this. So I'm going to have a go at writing to do. <laughs> so. Not quite got the art of it yet, but you know, getting there. To buy. So I've got my to-do list here, my to-buy list here, so that's sort of shopping list type things. And here I've introduced Low Spend. I was watching Planning with John again this week and he was talking about his No Spend, Low Spend. But what I thought it would be really useful for is tracking how much I actually do spend each month on my art and journaling supplies. So I have to write in for this week that I did buy these Pentel brush pens. I can't remember how much they cost, so I'll put the amount in after this video, but I'll write it in so I remember that I have bought those, and that's all I've bought so far this month, and then I can add up how much I spend and keep a track to make sure that I don't overspend, because it's so easy to do that with journaling supplies, because they're so much fun. <laughs> And you want all the things and as soon as I started learning brush lettering I was like I want more colour of brush pens because I only had a couple of colours. So yeah I need to keep an eye on that. So I thought that was what I would introduce this week. So I've done my week, I've done my to do to buy a low spend, I need to do my meal planning next. So I just need my template. just because it saves me measuring. And as I said, this is for my meal planning and I don't want to stamp in all those days again because it took ages. So this will do. And this time I thought I would have a go with trying this paint, which is a Starlight metallic paint, which is also in a nice purple colour. It should be sparkly, a little bit sparkly. I'm just going to put a bit of paint on my... So I've got a little bit of this sparkly paint and I'm going to do that for my header. Ooh, it's a lovely dark colour. Look at that. I've got out far too much paint. And of course I've gone wibbly wobbly, but I can cover that with some washi. <laughs> I always go wibbly wobbly. I'm not sure how long that'll take to dry, but I'm gonna put some washi on it because I went very wibbly wobbly at the bottom. There we go. Cover that up. <laughs> and then I can put a bit of the same washi down the bottom here. This washi seems really difficult to tear for some reason. And 
little bit of the pale one. Let me just show you that paint. I can see that it's really metallic, but I don't know if you can. Can you see how metallic that paint is? That's is so cool. I'm having fun today with different paints. My chalk paint didn't bleed through. Ooh, it's a bit stuck now, but no, it didn't bleed through. And this metallic paint hasn't bled through either. Now I found a sticker and it was this one. And it's a girl drinking wine. What could be better? I wonder if I could manage to get a little bit of wine into my diet plan. <laughs> Probably not, because it's about like 200 calories a glass or something. But I might have a little bit with my daughter on Wednesday. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, so, oh, I like that sticker. As you know, I do like girl head stickers. This one's got a little bit of a body and a glass of wine. What could be better? And then I think I'll add a flower sticker down here. I think I'm going to go with those two. I'm hoping that doesn't take up too much room because I do like to write my recipe of the week on this part. I don't want to put anything in that blob of paint. I don't know if you can see it, but I thought I'd save that and use that in my journal rather than waste it. Okay, so I'm all ready to write my meals in there and my meal of the week. And this week, as I said, I'm going to be trying on Saturday, on my date night, I'm going to be trying my new recipe from last week, which was the coconut and squash dansac. Okay, so got one page left to do, and that is my focus of the week. And I just want to kind of get that one ready. I've just realised I haven't distressed. Does that mean I haven't distressed any of it? Oh dear. I forgot. I want some paper, which I'm going to glue on with a glue stick. It made me laugh. I was watching uh, videos from Journal Witchery. I'll link her channel down below. She's one of my subscribers too, and I love looking at her videos. She's been really supportive of me. I was watching one of her vi videos, and she was talking about her favourite journaling supplies. I'll link that video below. And one of the things she said she really hates is glue sticks. <laughs> And I use glue sticks all the time. And she uses these kinds of roller glue, roller glues. I never seem to be able to get on with those. I get them all in a pickle and break them. But it's probably because I'm super clumsy. But I might have a good, I might have another go. Because <laughs> glue sticks aren't all that sticky and can be a bit messy. I really like watching videos of um people's favourite journaling supplies to see whether or not they have anything exciting that I've never come across before. Often it's just confirming my favourites. <laughs> I just agree with them. <laughs> I certainly do with Mary because we have a very similar taste. And she's also got a video which is a flick through of her journaling pages and they're really beautiful. So do have a look if you haven't checked out her channel. And I'm adding a little bit of washi. So that's a little bit of Tim Holtz vellum, which, as Mary quite rightly pointed out, doesn't stick properly with a glue stick. <laughs> and I want a little bit of purple. So I'm thinking... Oh, I don't know. I, I got out a couple of stickers. I thought that one was lovely, but I don't think it goes. So I'm going to save that. This one came in. A, oh, this one definitely goes. This is one that came in my happy mail from Suzanne. Uh, 
Oh, that looks really nice. Although it's still not purple. <laughs> uh, do I need to have something purple? Should I just leave it? Shall I leave it without? Or I could just put these really delicate little purple dots. Let's see what they'd look like. Where shall I put them though? Put one there. Oh yeah. That's subtle. I'm being subtle for once. Maybe one more because once you start putting stickers down it's so hard to stop <laughs> I'm gonna put it down here oh I folded it over they're so thin these little washi stickers and fiddly I can never get them to it doesn't matter oh well I'll see if I can fix it after okay so that's all ready for my focus of the week so my focus of the week my meal plan which i could put my meal plan sticker in there if i can find it i can oh i don't know if it goes what do you think i don't want to cover up all that lovely sparkly paint so i think i'm going to put it here which makes monday very skinny <laughs> but that's okay because today we're just having some chicken wraps and carbonara and when oh thursday will be curry we're not having carbonara on tuesday i've got that wrong because my daughter's staying over and she's vegetarian so i'm going to do my vegan paella so take that out it's going to be vegan paella on tuesday <laughs> I'll let you know what that's like. And then Wednesday, I can do carbonara. And then Saturday, I'm going to try, what was it called? I keep forgetting, squashing, squashing something. Coconut and squash dansack. That's Saturday. Okay, so we just added a bit more. <laughs> and I think I'm done. So I hope you've enjoyed watching my planning pages for this week. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.